Regal Cinemas and your local movie theater is famous for having this iconic roller coaster. So today I'm going to be discussing my thoughts on the layout, talk about all the different elements and theming, and then of course, like usual, I give a score at the end of the video. So first things first, uh, the ride to my knowledge does not have a name. I always just called it the Regal Cinemas roller coaster, but of course it can be recognized by its distinct theme of Coca-Cola products, different types of candy, and that's a theme you don't really get with too many roller coasters, so I really do like that. So you're going to start off by boarding your vehicle and what's really weird about this roller coaster is that there aren't really any restraints like I'm really concerned about the safety when you ride this roller coaster like I have been sitting there sometimes trying to enjoy my ride when someone will actually get up in the middle of the ride and walk out and I just don't think that that's very safe to my knowledge there haven't been any accidents on this roller coaster which is a miracle because I've even seen some people enter halfway through the ride and sit down so it's incredible that there aren't any seat belts but let me talk about the layout a bit. So you start off with this cool voiceover as you go up the lift hill. Refreshments are available in the lobby. And I really like that. You know, some roller coasters at like your Six Flags parks, it's notorious that the on-ride audio starts to uh, wear and you don't really get it as often the more you ride it. But every time I rode the Regal Cinemas roller coaster, the onboard audio was there, which is something I was really impressed with. So good job, Regal, for keeping that up. So then we're going to crest over. And to my knowledge, an exact height has not been given, nor a top speed or angle of descent for that matter. Actually, I really don't think there are any stats available for this ride, including location. Like, clearly, that's some sort of city, but also kind of looks like we're in space, so I don't really know what's going on here. And for that matter, there doesn't appear to be any support, so I think it's some sort of new technology, like maybe this is a coaster of the future? I mean, I don't know, it's tough to say. Just logistically speaking, I don't know how this coaster is able to run, nor do I know how many trains they're running, how many people per train. Like, clearly the capacity's gotta be pretty good, because the entire movie theater can ride this thing. So that's a really impressive throughput, but I'm just not sure on how long those dispatches are gonna take. If I had to take a guess, probably at least every two hours depending on how long your movie is but then we go into this drop it's not very steep but it does look like if you're sitting in the back of the theater, you might get a little airtime. But following this, we actually go into this cool piece of theming. This is actually a rotating movie reel. Kind of looks a bit like the Coaster Studios logo. Hmm, I wonder if that was intentional. And what follows is a series of S-bands, almost wild mouse-like. These are very sharp turns with little to no banking. Also, can we just talk about this head chopper? Like, man, that is a low clearance. We really only have the two drops. The second drop, which comes here, and this is a really sharp drop. I do think this is getting gives you some pretty good airtime. Unfortunately, the ride kind of ends after that. It's just a bit of straight track into the brake run. So in general, I do think it is a fun little ride. I do wish it were a bit longer. But overall, this is a ride that you can ride every few months, depending on how often you go to the movies, and you can have a good time. It's quite a shame that they chose to remove it. But luckily, in 2015, we got a new revamped Regal Cinemas roller coaster. It could do things that it couldn't before. It is my suspicion that they, in fact, RMC'd the Regal Cinemas roller coaster. If we look at this new track, I'm not really quite sure who the manufacturer is. It almost looks like a combination of Vekoma and Penfari. However, this does look to be a pretty smooth ride. But we do have some downsides. The biggest concern is safety. For one, we're actually going underwater. Let's talk about breathing. Are we just expected to hold our breath during this section? It's a miracle that there haven't been any casualties. But in terms of layout, it's actually pretty similar. But there's actually a variety of locations. I'm really kind of amazed how this coaster is able to go to all these different places. Like we start off in outer space, which again, not quite sure how that's possible. But we actually drop into the city. I'm not sure how they're able to get that approved, nor why on earth the city would approve that? I'm sure it gets lots of noise complaints. I mean, yeah, it might be beneficial for tourists. But that thing's also pretty tall. I mean, there's got to be some sort of height restriction that they had to work with. Probably obstructs a lot of views. But then it drops into what could be southern Utah or northern Arizona. Lots of this red rock. That might be the Grand Canyon. I'm really not quite sure. Which, if that's the Grand Canyon, then I'm really wondering where that city is. Because I swear that it was like Los Angeles or New York or something. So how it got from point A to point B really baffles me. I mean, the ride doesn't look to be that that long. I mean, if you look at the lift hill, that lift hill is definitely shorter and not as steep as the original used to be. But the difference is, though it may seem like a short ride, it actually is quite long. We're talking thousands of miles. 
But in general, it's still a fun ride. I do think I like the original better. So for its final score, I'm going to give it a 7. I think the layout feels kind of short. There aren't really too many elements. I think this ride would benefit from a couple of inversions. But they do the theming really well. Lots of good use of practical effects. I mean, it's not going to crack too many top 10 lists. Maybe top 10 family coasters or top 10 themed coasters. But that's about it. But in general, the overall response I've heard has been very positive. So I think Regal Cinemas has a winner on their hands. So you can let me know if you liked the original or the RMC Regal Cinemas roller coaster better. Post all those thoughts in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed this review and make sure to stay tuned for more reviews here at Coaster Studios.